Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you press that play button. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel, helps me tune into you. These are collective readings, any energy, any sign. Flip the rules as you see fit. And take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, let's go. Spirit, come through. I've set my intentions. Set yours. And let's get started. Spirit, give me a clear message for the collective, please. One that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Thank you, Spirit. All right, feeling alone is here. Helpless and hopeless. Challenging times. Bottom of the deck is move. M-O-V-E. Move. Yeah. I'm going to take this to embrace... The universe embrace your situation embrace an opportunity that the universe is giving you is what I'm hearing in my head so there's an opportunity to learn from the challenges and to be rewarded for your perseverance is what I'm hearing Somebody is feeling alone. Even if you're in a room full of people, man, you can feel alone. You're never alone. Spirit's always with you. Your ancestors are always with you. You're never alone. But somebody is feeling that, right? That 3D feeling of depression, alone, sadness, loss, 2 2, two. I'm saying. But they need to move on from that. They need to move away from that. They need to move away from situations that are damaging them, blocking them, stifling them. They are going through a challenge, though. They're having to meet a moment. So yeah, give me some more information on this person, please. What's happening to this person? What advice? Anything. Thank you. Sanctuary. I am divinely guided gently and knowing, lovingly. Knowingly, yeah, knowingly makes, a sense, makes sense too. Lovingly. Somebody's guiding you. Prodding you. Moving you, right? Move. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to give you a helping hand. Be spirit. Through these challenging times, right? Feeling helpless. There's a miracle here. Yeah, your life is a miracle. The spirit's trying to tell you in no uncertain terms. You may feel like your life sucks. And some parts of it could, right? It's not easy going through challenging times. It's not easy dealing with loss. But there is a, I don't know, there's something that happens to people when they go through stuff like that. It changes them. For some, it changes them in a bad sense, like in a negative sense where they use that as a catalyst to be a victim for the rest of their lives or to be mean to other people or to hurt people right because what is the saying hurt people hurt people but for other people it makes them a better version a more empathetic version of themselves and they try to extend that to other people I think 444 It's all a choice, my friends. It's 
So the choice how we choose to view a situation that we're in. How we choose to overcome a situation. And I'm not saying that crying is a bad thing. And sometimes we need to like cleanse, I don't know about cleanse ourselves. We need to like accept that we are human, right? Divinely made, but human. And if we give in to those feelings sometimes, it's going to happen. Not to berate ourselves or to think less of ourselves or to feel like, well, that's all there is then. Then I might as well just go all or all in in that direction. That's just an excuse now. We can rise above it, but sometimes we need to wallow in it sometimes. Right? Me too. Somebody was chasing a good time. Only in it for good times. Right? And there's a comic lesson in that for somebody. Somebody was seeking peace. So it seems like there's two different people here. One sought their own peace. One was chasing the excitement. Opposites. There's obsessions here. Somebody's obsessed. And I feel like that ecstasy, that person seeking thrills is the person who is obsessed with somebody. And it could be the person seeking their own peace. Twin flame is here. So this could be two bodies, one soul. Yeah. It feels like a curse to somebody. Maybe to feel this way about this person. To be so codependent on a person's energy. Yeah. But the person that, when you were with them, if you're, if this is a past person, was in a different space than you. You could have been very similar in a sense of needing healing, needing to go through certain karmic lessons, but there were different reasons why you were having karma. And this individual is because of the thrill seeking. I don't know the the way they treated other people in that way cold detached they're obsessed and maybe they were obsessed with that type of lifestyle at one time self-absorbed addicted to the freaky deek but it cursed them right but you sought your own peace releasing is here letting go of this person even though it created pain for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there's that runner-chaser dynamic I'm seeing here. Oh, my gravy spirit. Come on, man. Too much, too much. All on the floor. I'm not going to take those, but I do see time here. So divine timing's at play. Mm-hmm. Divine timing's at play here. There was chemistry between the two of you. If you wanted to find who this person could be, this person could think of you as, mir as a miracle in their life. But they feel empty and bored now. They're in a different space with their, that lifestyle. That lifestyle of the loose. It's not doing it for them anymore. Yeah, the risk taking, right? The risk taking has left them empty. Shallow came up again. Bored. Hollow inside. And the unexpected consequences of whatever that could mean, whether it be a sexually transmitted disease or the realization of what their life has become when they look in the mirror a version of themselves that they don't even recognize anymore 
Yeah. Shock this person. And it might be shocking if you ever seen this person, what they look like today from when you've seen them. They've changed. It's a physical change too. Right? It's a physical change and it's a drastic change. You may not even even recognize this person anymore. Because of what they've done in their life. It's written all over their face. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Yeah, this two of cups keeps coming up. And that's Scorpio Pisces Cancer. This giving and receiving of love. I think that this is something that they want to extend to you. Or they wanted to extend to you. At one time it was a distorted... Offer is what I'm hearing from spirit, right? It wasn't a pure offer of, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. It was well, like, I just want to take you in my bed right now, you know, empty myself inside of you if they're a, a masculine energy or masculine. I just want to, like, you know, ride it out if it's a feminine. So it's like there's different scenarios here depending on which end of it you were at but it's like I think it was a user energy they came at you in a user energy like I just I mean I hate to say it like that but I don't think that they were approaching it in a real genuine way yeah ten of pentacles is here Taurus Virgo Capricorn there is a prosperity here, financial, maybe career for one of you. Page of Swords. I feel like they want to communicate with you, and Swords is the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, astrological signs. I feel like they want to talk to you, they want to communicate with you. This person could be a communicator. Right? Could be somebody that likes to communicate. Maybe works in that that field. Communication. But I don't feel like they communicated well with you, though. They may not. They may do that for a living. They may have the gift of gab. Charming. But when it came to you, it was like a very closed-off energy. Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, see what I'm saying? The Charming. Well, they look at you as Charming. You know, just like... I don't know, like a very graceful... A diplomatic... A negotiator... It's like you have skills, too, in the communication department. Maybe you used to work with this person at one time. That's how they see your abilities to communicate. But there's a real, like a competition here. Seven of Wands, Aries of Saj. Maybe you're standing up for yourself. They see you as guarded against them now. You're a different person than you were when they first met you. And they know it. They know it. And they feel like they're going to walk on eggshells around you or they don't know what to say to you. Even though they're a communicator, they're afraid to communicate with you because they don't know if you'll even talk to them anymore. Are there any more cards? Any tarot? But they admire you, though. They admire your gifts. They're watching you. Seeing your progress. They're proud of you. But the moon was here. A lot of illusions. Maybe even delusions, too, that they set up for themselves in this connection. That it wasn't right. That it wouldn't work out. Maybe there's differences, like I said initially. One of you seeking peace, one of you seeking partying. 
that they felt like you weren't the right one for them at the time, even though they were attracted to you. There's a realization here that keeps them up at night. Yeah. That their life is different when you're not around. 1515, I saw. That you were worth more than just one moment. That you were different. They might have felt that intuitively, that you were the one. But it just made them run in the opposite direction because of what all these options they had, right? This is a king of pentacles, Taurus purple cap. Leader. Possibly a father figure. Somebody who has kids. Somebody who seeks abundance. Somebody who has a good job. Who does a good job. When it comes to their career. Somebody who's a hard worker. Yeah. Strength. They see you as strong. They see you as an empress, the embodiment of all the queens of the deck. Very successful, very hardworking. Somebody that whatever they put their mind to, they achieve. But you moved on from this person, Six of Swords. Yeah, and there was really injustice in this situation. Like it felt unfair. Maybe it feels unfair to them now. But I feel like they treated you unfairly. Mm. Nine of Wands is here. I feel like they want to stand up for this connection. Yeah, the Lovers is here too underneath. They want to fight for this where before they let it go. They didn't give you anything. Now they want to fight for you. Hmm. Feels like absence has made the heart grow fonder, in a sense. Feels like they see the forest with trees. Like there's this comparison between their perception and the, re and the reality because the loss of you is felt. You don't communicate with this person. So the silence is deafening. Four of Swords is here, but in the reverse. I feel like you needed to heal and release this person to recover. I feel like there was a lot of pain that was attached to this connection. I felt I feel like you held on to this person even when they were pushing away. And it really hurt you that they pushed away. You didn't understand why. I don't think they explained that to you either. Magician came out a couple of times. They are manifesting an opportunity again with you. But this is the hangman's here. This is in suspense. And you could be this king of swords. A leader in your own right. Have high standards, high morals, and, and, and a high fence around you. Like you really guarded against this person and they know it. And I feel like they agree you had reasons to. Right? They're taking accountability that they did you wrong. They didn't give you justice. Mm -hmm. They gave you the Ten of Swords. And I feel like that's between the both of you. This is real burdensome. The pain of it, right? Maybe they were backstabbed by other people. Maybe you felt backstabbed by them.
It was this Six of Swords here, a power dynamic. There was control that this person was trying to assert in this situation between the two of you. Three of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. There's a friendship here, though. It could be this a community of people, maybe that you shared in common or you know of these people. Yeah, that's burdened this person with obligations. Ten of Wands is here. Mm-hmm. There was a whole lot of nonsense that went down in the situation behind the scenes. Eight of Swords is here. They felt they feel trapped in that community. Those connections. They're planning though to accidentally on purpose bump into you. Two of Wands is here. They dream about you, fantasize about you. Seven of Cups is here. There was really a tower moment when the two of you separated from each other, and there's been towers that this person has been dealing with ever since. There's been a lot of imbalance. A lot of arguments and disputes between this group, this community, Five of Swords, is here. Yeah, move on is what they need to do. A judgment is what they're coming up with. An evaluation, right, of what they contributed to the ending of the situation. And that it caused pain between the two of you based on their own actions. And it wasn't necessarily your actions or what you did that contributed. I think they're taking accountability for what they did as well to end the situation, to walk away from it. Possibly listening to the wrong people and making the wrong moves, listening to bad advice and following it. Yeah, the self-imposed prison, prison, prison that they put themselves in, victimization too, like feeling sorry for themselves. Not making any moves for pride and ego to get in the way. Like, if you're the one that walked away from them, it's like, go. Even though they didn't want you to go. Yeah. There's wellness and healing, though, in this situation. Green Tower is here, healing light. Mm-hmm. Somebody's breaking boundaries. And becoming more spiritually woke. Yeah. Somebody's gifted with talents, hidden talents, and opportunities to even display those talents or use those talents to help other people, is what I'm hearing from Spirit. It says here, on the last one at the bottom of the deck miraculous moment, harmony surrounds you, expect miracles. Miracle is here already a few times. So I feel like you felt like this situation's over, but it's not. I feel like there's going to be miracles that are going to happen in your life because you, you have healed, because you have elevated, because you have moved forward 23, 23 in the clock, despite the pain of this past situation. I feel like your healing and your ascension is also helping your person to elevate as well and evaluate and also reflect on what they are doing and where they want to be versus what's happening presently in their life. I feel like they're looking at the past. They're manifesting a different future. And they see you in it. Right? In the present, they are watching what you're doing. And this is literally helping this other person to ascend. That's all I have for you today in Empress Aries 88. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe because I'd love to have you. Till next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.